guys and welcome back to my youtube channel um or welcome if you're new um sorry if my voice sounds a little bit croaky um I, my throat is quite sore today but i thought i'd just film anyway um basically i'm sitting on the floor so i'm in like a strange place to film but she is currently in her ring aren't you April? <laughs> Not interested in the slightest. Um, so I thought I would just sit down beside her while we're playing and film her four month up to you. I've got my cup of tea as well to help my throat. <laughs> I've had my breakfast, but I need my cup of tea. I'm so sorry about my hair. Um, I was actually saying I think I have like a day in the life coming out. Um, but it, this is like two day old hair, so. This is where we're at with our mum life situation. But yeah, so I wanted to film this video because um, I actually seen a quite a lot of, quite a few YouTubers film it um, for like month monthly updates of their children um, and their like, kids. And I just really wanted to film it because I wanted to be able to look back on it um, to see like where she was at um, in each month. Obviously this is the first time I'm starting it. Um, I didn't do it in month three or month two, but um, yeah, I just wanted to do month four and start at a month four and then we'll move on to the next month. So she is currently, um, so if we're doing it by the calendar months, she's only just four months. But if we're doing it by weeks, she's like going to be 20 weeks, which means that she'll nearly be five months. So it's so confusing. I just don't know which one to go by. Because if we go by calendar, it will be, um, it would make sense then for like, when she turns one year to be a month out the calendar months but then like by the weeks like 16 weeks is like four months and then 20 weeks is five months so i don't know it's very confusing so yeah she's gonna be she's she's 19 weeks anyway 19 and a half weeks at the moment or 18 and a half 18 weeks no wait no i've confused myself She's 18 and a half weeks at the moment, so she'll be 19 weeks this week, that's what it is. So, yeah, the first, um, so basically to start with her, she's <laughs> you'll hear her in the background. Um, yeah, so basically in this video I'm just going to chat about, um, like her milestones, her weight and height, um, her little personality, um, just a bit about her, um, so yeah, I will insert like photos and videos of different things as I chat about it um and we'll go from there but yeah with this month um she has been doing so much as well like her personality is definitely coming out um she's learning new skills every single day it's so cute um but yeah so her weight so first of all her weight the last checkup I got was actually at 16 weeks so which would have been like four months um so her weight was 14.1 which she was um on the 50th percentile for her weight so she was a stone and she probably is heavier now because she's definitely getting so much bigger um and then with her height she was um 64 centimeters which means that she was on this 91st percentile so she's very tall for a girl um she has from like birth she has followed her trend for the 50th percentile on her weight um but the last checkup there at 16 weeks that she um, jumped up to the 91st she was following the 75th so she's now jumped up to the 91st so she's definitely definitely gonna be a tall um, BB um, BB a tall human um, but yeah she I don't know where she gets her tallness from because I'm definitely not tall um, I'm only like 5'2 or 5'3 and Peter my partner he's only like 5'7 or 8 or something like that so he's not really tall for a man either um, so we're both like quite average people, um, but she's just like really tall. Unless she's, um, what they said they just, could happen is she, she grows quite a lot now and then it just slows down, you know. So it's all that kind of thing. Um, the other thing I just want to put in this, um, I actually forgot to say at the start of the video, was um, a little disclaimer just to say that everyone's babies develop at different rates and um, like they all catch up on each other at some point in life. So, like, if my baby's doing something, your baby's not, or your baby's doing something, my baby's not, like, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal because every human is different and every baby is different and they develop at different rates and they meet milestones differently um, and they their personalities will be different because they're all different humans. Everyone is unique and if they weren't unique, then it would be a really sad world. So, 
yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because um, I just, I really love, I want to make this video just so that I can look back on this. And it might help other people out there too, just to kind of follow along on our journey. Because uh, I know I do that with other people. Um, I love to like kind of see what other four month olds are doing um, uh, and like kind of see like what she's doing with them. Do you know that kind of way? So yeah, don't ever compare your baby to another baby because they're never going to be the same because they are different people. So it's just the same as like being an adult. Don't compare yourself to other people as well because you're never going to be the same as another person because everyone is different and that's what makes the world beautiful. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. But anyway, back to the video. So. She is, um, she has, well, at this, at like week 12, she started rolling, um, which it was like three months, I suppose, but she started rolling from her belly to her back. Um, so yeah, she hasn't rolled from her back to her belly yet, um, at all. She ha she can roll onto her side, um, but yeah, she can roll onto her side by herself, um, and yeah, that's about it. She can't, like, get right over or anything like that so she's still working on that um but one thing one big thing for this month that she has done um is really find her voice so i think with so she's in late four at the moment and late four is from like 14 weeks to 20 weeks so it's a big six week leap um and late four for her so they either like what they say online is on like on the nhs website and stuff is they either go through like um, in this leap they either firstly go through finding their voice um, or they go through like their motor skills so like being able to like pick stuff up and grab them and put them to their mouth so that's what her leap is at the moment and she is doing very well with both of them um, I say definitely she started with grabbing stuff and putting them to her mouth um, earlier than she did with her voice because she, she was like a young teether I would have had like hold the teethers at her mouth because um, obviously it did relieve like some pain um, but now she can like fully hold the teether and put it in her mouth so she can and um, she can do that herself yeah so th that's what she can do herself and she like literally picks everything up like I can give her something and she'll pick it up and then put it to her mouth so that's really good motor skills that she has gained in this leap um, she is coming near to the end of the leap and her leaps usually start a wee bit earlier than what like the, they say the leap starts so she probably started her leap she probably started her leap about week 13 instead of week 14 um, although it still lasts like to week 20 I feel like because she's still in, in the midst of it so yeah and as you can hear like throughout the video she is like really talking as well so that is the other thing in this leap and she definitely definitely has found her voice <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> um, she can, so during the night basically she would self-soothe. Like if I was to get up and feed her during the night, um, I'd be able to put her down like fully awake and she would be able to self-soothe her back to sleep. But the way she self-soothes back to sleep is by like really, really talking. And it is so loud, like she's literally like, I actually haven't recorded it. I really need to record it in the middle of the night because it's it's mad. We're all me and Peter are just like in bed and like she's just like Rah! like that. Yeah, like that there. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> um and literally I don't even know how long it takes her to get to sleep, but she does eventually go to sleep, but she just makes loads of noise. Um, but that's when she really started to find her voice at night time. She would like build up the like her voice and like yeah, get like loads of different sounds in. And then during the day, like she wouldn't really do it. And I was like, what is going on? And then like all of a sudden she just decided like I'm gonna do it during the day. So she now talks all the time and she loves it. So she does. Um, yeah, so that's one of her favorite things to do is talk. As you can hear. Um, yeah, so that's one of her favorite things to do. So those are the two main things for this leap. Um, and she's definitely doing both of them. Um, so yeah, she is definitely on target with those <laughs> and the next thing to talk about um, I want to talk about is sleep so with sleep she is currently um she goes to bed at seven o'clock and it's usually seven o'clock every single night and um, well between between seven and half seven I usually start her bedtime routine at about half six and then that means that she's like in bed sort of around seven quarter past seven and um, depending and then she usually be sleeping for about definitely definitely half seven she's came to join us in the shop <laughs> Haven't you? 
Um, yeah, so she'll either go down, she'll go down about half six, and then, or she'll go, sorry, she'll have her bath at half six, and then she'll either have a bottle before or after, and then um, she will um, go down for her, go down for the evening. Um, so she'll either, sometimes during the, or like at night time, she will self soothe, so I don't actually, I could put her down like fully awake. Um, and she will like talk herself to sleep. She also has her dummy and her white noise as well. Um, and then she, she'll probably sleep until about 12 and then she'll usually get up for a bottle. Um, last night she slept until from like seven to four, but that isn't like every night. Most nights she is like waking up by 12 or one for a bottle and then waking up again at like seven um, for her, or like about half six, seven. Half six, seven for her, um, then do get out for the day so she she does wake up like one once a night um but she last night she didn't she woke up she woke up at four o'clock for a bottle and then woke up at eight so that was good so yeah that's with sleep she's actually very good with sleep she isn't too bad with it um, and she never has been she's always been a very good baby with sleep um she's always slept really well during the night um and she's always like slept really well during the day um at the minute for her daytime naps she is having like about four daytime naps and they're about half an hour to 40 minutes each um and she would maybe have her week windows are between half an hour or an hour and a half sorry and two hours before she's getting tired again um, and before i know like put her back down for a nap um so yeah that's what kind of she's doing at the moment um with her snapping schedule as well and she just tells me when she wants to go to sleep um usually i will keep an eye on the clock just to say like if she's starting to get a bit annoyed with toys or get annoyed in general she will it probably will be coming up to the hour and a half um and then sometimes she is able to sit for the extra half an hour to two hours um depending like when her feed is and stuff um she will feed and then go down for a nap or something like that um so yeah and then like we try to get out for a walk during the day so she'll usually like nap she doesn't mind where she naps, you know, like she's very good that way. So it's like, we can nap, she can nap in the car, she can nap in her pram, and um, she can nap in her bed. So there's so many different, like she's like fine with napping wherever when she's tired. At month four, their personality really starts to form. Um, so she is literally like the funniest love person ever. <laughs> she literally makes me laugh every single day, like with I feel she does something that's so funny. She's now like really like having giggle fits. Um she did start laughing at month three. Um and it was the funniest little thing, but then she didn't laugh for quite a while after that. Um so to now she literally laughs like at you so much and she does go into like belly wrenching giggle fits and it is so funny i'll try and see if i've got a video of it to insert it for you um but it is like it literally makes you laugh so much <laughs> i remember there was a like there was so many times but there was a time i literally i don't know i, I think i was playing pick a with her and she literally just sort of laughing like so loudly and she thought like this was just hilarious she just laughs at some funny things like especially um her cousin which is my sister baby um like he he's obviously nine months so he's a lot more character and stuff um and he's like walking and stuff but he like walks quite like funny um like to her it's funny um and she just thinks it's hilarious and, like when he's trying to crawl and stuff like she thinks it's so funny um, and she just has a full laugh and fit like she loves babies it's so funny she smiles so much um she's been smiling from like two months as well um but yeah she, her wee smile is just the cutest little smile um so it is it's just like it just makes your heart melt so it does um and she does this thing so there's this other thing and um, when she gets excited so like it's usually whenever i tell her we're going for a bath at night time she gets she does like this and it's because like so peter whenever she was younger used to do this with her arms like dee -dee -dee -dee, you know like oh we're so excited yay you know that kind of thing and she literally does it by herself now and it's just the cutest little thing um yeah that was a normal thing with her personality that she's started doing um as well as like she started like sticking her tongue out so much now she literally just goes meh so she does don't you and it's so funny she is she's just like such a character um but because she had like she didn't usually like copy us with her tongue uh she would like smile and stuff like if i smiled at her she would smile back but she's only recently started like fully copying us with her tongue now um so it's just very cute as well. Like she just sticks it on and it's so cute. So yeah, her personality's really coming out and it's just the cutest little thing. Um, we'll move on to like, um, 
I always like never have like a structure to these videos but I'm just chatting so um yeah so her favorite like we'll move on to some of her favorite things to do so she loves 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 being in the bath and um, she has ever since she was a little baby um but she just loves being in the bath now and um, she splashes so much I actually have her land on in the bath now um and I have like for a wee while actually a couple months but um yeah she just splashes so much like her legs and all just go and she just splash everything um and she loves like looking at the wee bath things i have um i actually need to get her some new bath toys um to look for to look at um but yeah so she 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 loves the bath that's like one of her favorite activities and as i said like before she goes like this here um whenever i say about the bath so that's really nice um she also loves going for a walk she loves being in her pram that's like one of her favorite places to be is in her pram isn't it sorry if anything has changed there it probably has um so many times because we were just feeding um she just had a little bottle there um but yes um yeah so i was just like thinking where we were we at yes, i think we were talking i was going to move on to talking about her favorite things so um, I think I just, I did talk about her favourite, like her favourite activities of bath, um, and then she also loves being in her pram, so she loves going out for a walk. Uh, so her favourite book at the moment is, that's not my book, so these here ones, so there's that's not my wall, or, or Wombat and Otter, this is the new one we got actually the other day. These are in Home Bargain, no not Home Bargain, it's B&M for like 2 99 I saw them and I was like, oh my goodness, because they're usually like £5 on Amazon. Um, because they're quite dear, so yeah, it's on for two ninety nine. She loves them, and she also loves this book as well. Um, which is BB faces, is so cute. Um, there's this here one where it so it gives you like loads of different BB faces, um, of like sad and happy and tired and stuff. But this here one where it's sad, she literally laughs so hard at it, and it is so funny. Like I'm just literally like, why are you laughing at like a BB crying? Like. <laughs> what the heck um but she just thinks it's so funny so yeah she loves those books um her favorite song at the moment is actually one from the bb club if you haven't seen on um it's on the bbc it's on bbc iplayer actually all of like the seasons um but they have i was actually told by someone in church told me about it and they do this song um every single episode um so it's basically like a like she doesn't watch it but it's well she does watch it a wee bit but it's like basically you interact with your baby so they have like this thing where it's like what's in the bag and you have to get like a bag in real person and like um get like so say there were sponges in the bag you get sponges and then show your baby sponges and stuff so it's just different things to like play with your baby like ideas to play with your baby and then they also do like singing and they do reading a story and stuff so yeah that's what she um loves at the moment but the song from it at the minute that she loves is um, like a song that's like clap your hands, wiggle your toes, stretch up high, touch your nose. Ready? Clap your hands, wiggle your toes, stretch your arms, touch your nose. Clap your hands, wiggle your toes, stretch your arms, touch your nose. <gasps> Move your finger round your tummy. Move your finger round your tummy. And tickle, wiggle, tickle, wiggle. Oh. Sing that song. That's her favourite song. And then the other song is like Wills in the Bass. Like she just loves that song at the moment as well. Um, so those two songs are her favourite songs at the minute. And then her favourite toys. Um, she is loving this big ring thing at the moment um i was just sitting there so i just thought put up um i did show you i think at the start um of her in it but yeah she's loving that at the moment i got that and um, my sister actually gave it to me because her boy is too big for it now and he just crawled out of it so um she is loving sitting up in that at the moment and um, that's like one of her favorite things and um, she is now starting to like the jump and um because she can now like move herself back and forward and bounce a wee bit so she's loving that as well um and then a small toys, um, she's actually got, I'll show you what she has at the moment. Oh, you've dropped it. Here you go. <laughs> is that right? See this spoon? This is her favorite thing ever. She just holds it like all the time. <laughs> she just loves it so much. Are you turning away now? 
so yeah that spoon and then like loads of different teethers um i have a couple from the tiny book baby company then the matchstick monkey she loves the matchstick monkey that's like her favorite favorite teether of all time like she just loves it so much um like when it's in the sterilizer like i have to get it like sorry i'm moving the camera when it's in the sterilizer i have to get it like straight back on again like asap or else she's just like i need it she's not actually playing with it now she's playing with her spoon now but she just loves her spoon um and then another thing that she started doing and that she loves and it's an inbuilt toy for Noi anyway is her feet she loves to grab her feet and it's just so cute like she's just she just rolls onto her like um obviously she's on her back but like she puts her like legs right up and breaks her feet and then like grabs her socks off which is like one of the most annoying things for me because then her socks always come off and she's just got cold feet and i'm just like you need to keep them on because you have cold feet oh but yeah, she just loves playing with her feet. She plans her feet now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just one thing she loves to do. Um, her favorite toy, one of her favorite toys. Um, she also has this singing bear. I don't even know where it is. It's the singing bear that she loves to play with as well. Um, she just loves that so much. Then, like another thing with her at the moment, she is really, really teething, and she has been teething for like a couple months, but. She is now really, really teething where she's slabbering everywhere. Um, I like always have to have a bib on her, not that I usually do. It's really bad, but I really do need to have a bib on her because she just slabbers everywhere. And I'm having to put like a wee bit of Angela on, um, like giving her some cowpaw sometimes. Like it is like, that does make her very annoyed. Um, you can see that it's really sore because she just constantly eats everything like this. And she has her, her knuckles clenched like this. Um, and I think that is a sign of... Um, that she's in pain so yeah that's another thing at the moment that we're going through that she's really not liking at the moment um yeah so and then one other thing i wanted to chat about was actually like we've been practicing sitting and we've been practicing sitting like no i want to say just like as a big big thing like obviously sitting is a milestone for six plus months but um she has a very she always has been like a type of baby who prefers to be sitting up rather than lying down on the floor so um I would obviously have her propped up sitting with me obviously or like I would hold her sitting up um, and sometimes I would just let her go obviously like I would hold her like around her like I would never let her fold on. Um, I'll just insert a video of like what I mean whenever I say that we practice sitting. Um, I have seen this on Instagram with other four month babies um, but we've always practiced practice sitting up and she can sit now for like a good five seconds by herself. Obviously she then just falls over because uh, she doesn't have she doesn't have the capability on her core to make herself sit up for any length of time. But she is I think she is just the type of baby who prefers to sit up rather than to um, like lie down. That's just what she has always preferred ever since she was young. Um, so I think that's why her core is very strong for like sitting up and stuff and um, because we've always just had her in that sitting up position because that's what she's preferred. Her socks on. Look. You got your sock on. <laughs> what shape are you? So I am here by the way like right right beside the puffy so she'll not fall off anywhere and she can't obviously get this way or that way so and she can't roll yet anyway so when she starts to roll it's gonna be a nightmare because she'll literally be like moving everywhere and I'll not be able to leave her on the puffy. Not that I don't leave her, like obviously beside her, but still, she'll just be like, no, I'm away. But yeah, um, I think that's all I'm gonna chat about today in today's video. Um, well, actually at the minute with feeding, um, at the minute she is on seven ounce bottles and she currently takes about five seven ounce bottles a day, um, sometimes six or sometimes four. So it just depends, but they're roughly like, it, it's usually about five. It's usually about five bottles a day with seven ounces. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna say anyway in today's video, just so that I can, it's just again for me to look back so I can see like what her favorite song was at four months, um, how many ounces she was taking, and like what her sleep schedule was like, um, and like her personality, what she was kind of doing at this at this point. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to make this video just more for my sake, but I also to like, show you like what her milestones that she's hitting and different things. On that note, um, we are gonna go. Oh, Ray, look at this. Can you say bye? Say bye. Uh, but yeah, on that note,
note, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a wee bit like all over the place because obviously I was filming with her and she likes to um, talk and chat and move and do loads of different things and yeah, yeah you're smiling. Um, so yeah, sorry if it was like a wee bit hectic but I hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what April is up to at the moment at four months. Um, and I will do another one of these at five months, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video and if you have any video suggestions leave them down below because um, I would love to do any of your suggestions. I cannot wait for Christmas because um, I just love Christmas and then we're going to be decorating the tree with the April and it's just going to be so lovely so yeah I can't wait for that but anyway stop rambling. Um, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Um, and on that note, bye!